So let's take a look at Keyword XP. Now straight away you can type in a phrase into the keyword box here and you can search over suggests and suggests are all the keywords that people are really searching for right now. And so these are the top words that um, are coming up straight from Google and of course you can look at uh, Amazon, Bing, eBay, ask all the other um, search engines as well depending on what type of keyword you want. But essentially clicking on or double clicking on any of these expands that keyword and drills down so beef jerky dehydrator and now get all the beef jerky dehydrator words uh, coming up below there. And against any keyword I can straight away look at the trend so I can identify whether this is a, a growing keyword, something worth focusing on or a declining keyword, something that um, will be no use to anyone in a couple of years time. What I can also do is drill down against all these keywords and by clicking on search again it will now come back and expand all those phrases and I end up with something like 400 odd results if you look down the bottom there. Now if I go into pro mode then what this does is this will actually pull back you know all the keywords together with their exact match search volume so I can really see whether this is something worth focusing on and what it also does is give me the seasonality in other words is this a phrase that's growing um, over the year or is it something that has a consistent search volume during the year and so if I hover over any of these particular bars then I can see what month the traffic was okay now um, if I look at beef tenderloin as an example I can see there was just one spike there in December um, so maybe that was a Christmas uh, shopping keyword so perhaps not something that I want to target throughout the whole year but you know what you can do with all these keywords then is just save them so let's have a look at beef jerky let's do how to make beef jerky um, let's do some jerky recipes so I just tick these okay um, and you know straight away um, I've got these in my saved keywords tab now from here though what I can do is I can go to the next tab called related questions and this takes my keywords and what it also does is it helps me create really interesting blog titles so for example if I click on Jersey jerky recipes then down the right hand side here against that keyword it's constructed all these different types of blog titles and these are proven phrases that actually get clicks okay so for example discover five easy ways to um, and then all I'd have to do is type in make jerky recipes okay but that's probably not the best one how about build your first you know um, and I'm thinking of a new word but I don't have to think of a new word because I can right click and up comes all these sentence constructors that help you create words really really quickly so build your first let's use a descriptive word awesome jerky recipe okay and there's a really cool phrase okay um, how about um, 10 steps to and again right click up it comes um, astounding jerky recipes okay so you can see very very quickly you can uh, create lots of different blog titles straight from any of these core keywords and what we also do is we against say jerky recipe we also look um, to see what kind of questions people are actually asking okay so if I click on what then um, against beef jerky then I can see you know what are the benefits of beef jerky what are the brands of beef jerky? Perhaps then where, you know, where can I buy good beef jerky? Okay, so you can see straight away these are all the things that people are actually typing in. And if you write blog posts around this kind of content, then you're going to get traffic because it relates directly to what people are looking for. But let's go a bit further. You know, perhaps you want to look at um, whether any domains are available. And again, you can either use the suggests tool and, you know, get it to go and look and expand beef jerky and pull back all the different types of domain options for you and you can just you know highlight let's do beef jerky at home actually something like that beef jerky at home and I can check the availability you know of the org com or net domain and I can see they're available that's really cool I can search other top level domains as well if I'm in other countries around the world 
Um, but, you know, nowadays it's often good to create like brandable domains. OK, so let's stay with beef jerky. Let me clear my list and I'll switch over to the branded domain search. And here I can ask it to search over adjectives, verbs and nouns and put them in front of or after the actual word. So if I say prepend and a noun, for example, and click on search, then what it does now is it comes up with all these different types of um, phrases that could actually make really cool brandable domains. So for example, um, atom beef jerky, that might be quite cool. Let's just check that. That looks like, a, okay, that's available. Let's go down this list here, see what else. Um, Captain Beef Jerky. There you go. That would be a nice brand. Um, so if I had a site called Captain Beef Jerky, I'm sure that that could develop into something really, really good. How about Century Beef Jerky? Let's check that one. OK, that one's available too. And so you can see you can create some really highly brandable uh, domain names that are not just keyword orientated, but stuff that you can actually brand, trademark and potentially sell when you get some traffic. But let's take things a bit further. You know, let's then look at the discovery tab. And this is where you can look for things like um, backlink opportunities, uh, real world traffic long tails. Um, and all you need to do is keep your keyword there, click on search. And now what it does is it looks for any opportunities to create like common, uh, comment backlinks or forum posts and things like that. Um, and what it does, it grabs the Alexa ranking for any of these links so you know whether it's worth uh, commenting on because you really want traffic. Okay, so if I scroll down here, then um, if I look at the Alexa rankings, then I can see roughly whether something has traffic or not. So, um, and what it does, it pulls back the title um, of the, the post so that um, you know it's relevant. It's really important to you know comment and contribute to relevant uh, forums or blogs. Okay, so here is one here: forums.mtbr. And you know, if I go to that site, it'll be a forum. I can probably contribute to the conversation, putting a backlink to my uh, Captain Beef Jerky site. Okay, so it's very very easy to do that. Um, and what we could also do is with an advanced tab here, you can actually use lots of different types of uh, what we call search patterns to look for different types of linking opportunities, um, which you can then customize um, and edit for finding the right uh, traffic to get to your site. So with the suggests, the pro tab we're available in professional mode. Um, the related questions, the domain checker, the discovery tab, again, only available in professional, and the saved keywords where you can export your keywords. That is Keyword XP in a nutshell.